Who will be the most mourned biggest deal when they die? Your mom. Seriously, my mom isn't getting any younger and it makes me sad. My grandma. She's my best friend and I've been attached at her hip since the day I was born. Half of me will go with her when she dies. Michael J. Fox BTTF is my favorite movie of all time and I have watched his health get worse and worse for so many years now. The day he goes the world will reflect on how long he battled Parkinson's and how much money he raised about $1.5 billion ATM. Gosh I love him so much, I'll be so sad when we no longer have him. Sir Ian McKellen. Edit forgot the sir. Julie Andrews. Danny DeVito. James Earl Jones. John Williams. He's a brilliant composer who wrote a solid chunk of the soundtracks for the best American movies over the past 50 years. Samuel L. Jackson. Motherfucker. I think this is tied largely to age and manner of death. Betty White was a national treasure and while it was incredibly sad, she was nearing 100 and everyone saw it coming. When Princess D.I. and Kobe died, it felt like they were ripped from us and the world collectively grieved. ETA these examples were the first that came to mind. If you didn't like grieve them, cool, but they were used to make an illustration of a public figure that died young and in a violent manner that a large group of people felt blindsided by. Others have provided really good examples as well. Dolly Parton I think Tim Curry is going to be a big one. He represents so much of many people's childhoods, adulthoods, coming of age and has been in so so many cult and mainstream classics. I'm not looking forward to losing him. Patrick Stewart is gonna be rough. Probably the last celeb I'll cry for. Norm MacDonald and Bowie were the other two. Stevie Wonder. Morgan Freeman. David Attenborough. Bob Newhart and Dick Van Dyke for me. Weird Al. Mark Hamill. He is a pillar for modern-day nerdy interests. He is the iconic voice of the Joker and Luke Skywalker. He has other roles too but being the face of those two helped form nerdy interests for decades. Spielberg. People will mourn without even knowing they are mourning. The internet will explode when Rick Astley will die. LeVar Burton. I will cry so hard. Paul McCartney. Harrison Ford. It will be sad when we have an ABBA cadaver. Keith none of us will still be alive to mourn him. Maggie Smith. Biggest deal right now would probably be Putin, not because he's loved but you know, that whole war thing. Same goes for Zelensky of course. I think most of the world would hold their breath for a minute if one of them died suddenly. Mel Brooks. Kiana Reeves. I'm going to be pretty bummed out when Ozzy Osbourne dies, a true pioneer of bringing heavy, dark sounds into the mainstream rock world. And the guy is just, his fucking Ozzy, man. David Bowie has been the musician death that has bothered me most, so far. Similar to Ozzy, he was an absolute gem to his genre of music. Somehow he was able to be extremely feminine yet ultra-masculine at the same time. Just a straight-up badass on a whole different scale. Has already gone. R.I.P. Robin Williams. Bob Dylan. Not because he is a great person, but because he is one of few remaining icons that embodies the zeitgeist of the 60s. Willie Nelson. Rowan Atkinson. I'll be very sad when we lose John Williams. Stephen King is my favorite author and a huge part of my life in a lot of ways. It'll be a sad day when he gets to the clearing at the end of the path. Dave Grohl. Anthony Hopkins. Anyone gifted and young. I am still upset about George Michael's early exit. George Santos. 
Nobel Peace Prize winner. Cancer Cura. Olympic Volleyball Champion. Virtuoso Banjo Picker. Five-time champion RU Paul Drag Race. Winner of both The Bachelor and The Bachelorette. Men will weep and women will wail. Jack Black will be tragic. Steve Martin Martin Short. My mum. Bob Mortimer. He is beyond legend. Christopher Lloyd. Maggie Smith is going to hit hard. Tom Hanks. 100 David Attenborough. Dolly Parton, she is a national treasure. Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr. Alan Alder. Dolly Parton. She is just the best of humanity. So kind and generous. Jim Carrey. It will cause a Robin Williams level of sadness and grief if he ends up dying a victim of mental illness. Keanu Reeves. Steve Carell. Rowan Atkinson. The World's Bees. For me? David Gilmore. I'm going for David Attenborough. Dolly Parton. She's a world-class treasure and will surely be missed. I'm still not over Bob Saget. Full House helped raise me and it hurt so bad when I found out. Alan Rickman's passing also hurt greatly. Robin Williams? My mom was devastated and it saddened me too. I think Maggie Smith, Sir David Attenborough, and Steve Carell's passings are going to hurt many, many people, including me. Jimmy Carter For me personally, Jimmy Carter. Editor at his work with the Carter Center facilitating free and democratic elections in developing nations, adopting neglected problems in the world and creating programs to ease human suffering like public health campaigns to stop the spread of guinea worm for teaching Sunday school and building houses for humanity well into his 90s. Not sure how old he is now. Arnold Schwarzenegger a cultural icon in fitness bodybuilding and action movies and an inspiration to millions flexed biceps. William Shatner. The coolest nerd in history. I am gonna go with Brian May, Roger Taylor and John Deacon. It's getting kind of awkward how many times I've answered Tom Hanks here on Reddit. If aliens visited, who would you elect to speak with them? Tom Hanks. If you could choose who gave you the Bird's Bees lecture, who would it be? Tom Hanks. Who would give your eulogy? Tom Hanks. Etc., etc., etc. David Attenborough. My mom. Tom Hanks. Michael J. Fox is gonna be a big one. Stevie Nicks. Billy Connolly. Dolly Parton is up there. Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton. Jackie Chan. For a lot of people from my generation he was a big part of their childhood teenage years. I'm mentally preparing myself for when Bruce Springsteen goes. Hopefully after 40 more years of rocking. The whole state of New Jersey will be in shambles. Macaulay Culkin. Robert Downey Jr. My lady thinks it's Elton John, I think it's Michael Jordan. Snoop Dogg or M for sure. Keanu Reeves. Tom Hanks. Dolly Parton will be a big one. Dolly Parton. She's a national treasure, philanthropist, hard-working, and brings so many people together. She's a great human being and role model. People can learn a lot from her. If Taylor Swift dies suddenly and young it'll be her. 